The holidays are almost here, so in this video I'm going to show you five fun DIY projects you can do to decorate your own home or give as gifts this holiday season. Let's do this. Our first project is this little deer. I picked him up at the thrift store. It is a paper mache deer. And I thought it would be really cool to make him look like a concrete deer, either to sit on a fireplace, maybe a mantle by an entryway, or even a front porch. So we're gonna give him a little makeover. He had a broken antler, which got some tape, which is no problem, because we're gonna paint right over it. You won't even know. I'm just gonna take off his little decorations here. And then we are going to get started by giving him a layer of Dixie Bell's driftwood paint. The driftwood on our deer is just about dry, and so now it's time for the next step. What I'm gonna do, you can decide if you want your concrete to be a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. I'm gonna go lighter. So I am going to mix just a tiny bit of fluff into what I have left of my driftwood. I only have a tiny bit in there, so I'm gonna lighten this color just by a smidge to give us a bit of contrast. And then I'm just gonna grab a sponge, just a piece of a sponge, dab it in our lighter color, and kind of dab a bit randomly all over our little deer here. Because this is made of paper mache, it's gonna settle into these cracks and give us a bit of texture, which is just what we want. And that will help us too. If the first coat didn't completely cover everywhere, don't worry about it. You can just go over it now and give it that really cool look. I don't know if you can tell it kind of looks wet here, but it's really giving it some fun texture. The sponge is really helpful because you can add as much or as little as you like, and it really does give it that really neat concrete look. I'm gonna keep going with this, and our little dear friend is almost done. Idea number two is really simple, but I think really cute. I cut some triangles from some scrap wood that I had. This is kind of a reclaimed wood. Um, you can cut them any size that you'd like, and we are going to kind of give them a bit of a modern flair with some paint. I saw this in a magazine and I thought it was adorable because again, how simple it is. You can cut them to size based on where you might want to put them. I made these tiny because I have a project coming up that a few little trees will go just perfect. Now what I'm going to do is tape off, again in a, at an angle, a portion of each tree that I'm going to paint white. Now I'm going to, this wood is rough because it is a bit reclaimed, so I'm going to run my fingernail over it to get that line nice and crisp. I am going to do a portion of each of the trees white, almost looking like snow. Now, keep this in mind, you could do it black if you wanted a little bit of a more modern flair. You could also, I think it would be gorgeous if you did it uh, with a bit of sparkle, maybe with some metallic paint, some champagne, whatever color you want to accent. We're just gonna give these trees a fun look. You could do as many of these as you wanted as well to make it kind of look like a forest of trees. I just have three little guys here, but it is up to you. 
Now, grab yourself some paint. I chose Dixie Belle Fluff for this project. It is beautiful, creamy white. Give it a little bit of a shake. And then we are just going to give our little trees a bit of an accent. Also, I think you could paint the sides of these trees would also be really cute, but sometimes it's the simplest ideas that make a big statement in your home. So let's peel off our tape and see how we did here. Look how simple and fun. I love that they look kind of minimalistic, uh, a little nod to snow, a little nod to some shapes and textures, and this is a great decoration that will last all winter. Idea number three is a sign. You didn't think I would really not include a sign, did you? This is a cute little sign that says joy to the world. One of my friends with a vinyl cutter cut me this design and I just grabbed a piece of scrap wood I had laying around that will be the perfect base for this sign. Now I'm gonna show you a way to make it look rustic. So a little bit of a different take on a plain black and white sign. We're gonna give it a little bit of a rustic flair. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna set aside our vinyl and I am going to use fluff to paint the base of this for our back drop. So grab your Dixie Belle fluff. What I'm going to do is leave a little tiny bit of a border around the edge and this will make sense later uh, with no particular um, rhyme or reason. Don't make your line straight. We are just going to, like I say, it's going to help us make this look a little bit more rustic when we are finished. The paint is dry. You can see some of the places that the wood is showing through a little bit and I'm not worried about that. We are going to use that to our advantage in this case. So let's move on to the next step. I am going to take a sponge, I've got a glove on, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of stain directly on top of the paint, going over the edges that we left raw and over the sides here. I am going to do one quick thing. I just have a damp paper towel here and I'm going to get this paint just a little bit damp. I'm going to use a water-based stain and it's just going to help it move around a little bit so we don't get blotches. We're going to move this stain around and just allow it to be a bit of a rustic finish on our sign. You don't need much stain and any stain will do. We are going to just kind of move it quickly. Now I want it to soak in. There's a little knot up here. I want that to soak in there. And then on these edges we left unpainted. Okay, now that's a bit too dark for me. You could definitely leave it like that. That's a little dark. So I do grab my wet paper towel here and we're just gonna wipe it back. I want this to be rustic, but not dirty looking. Okay, to finish up our sign, I have our vinyl placed down here on the board. I am going to use Midnight Sky again and a little sponge to get this color on here. A trick when using any kind of stencil is to use a sponge and stay as uh, directly on top of that as you can. Also, if you have a... Um, a piece of paper towel handy. Um, that will help you not get too much paint on there. That's often a problem with bleeding is just getting too much paint. So I'm going to simply dab right over our design. This one didn't stick super well, so I'm gonna hold it down in a few places just to be sure we get a nice clean pattern here. <clears throat> There we go. Now the most fun part of any sign is peeling back the stencil. See how we did.
It looks lovely. I'm going to pick out my little O's and E's here and then our sign is complete. Now to complete the distressed look, one other thing, if I wanted to, I could sand back these letters a little bit, kind of give it a bit of a scratchy look. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, um, but it is an option. And then we have a beautiful distressed holiday sign. Okay, the next idea I have to share with you has to do with pine cones. I don't know about you, but I love decorating with pine cones around the holidays. They kind of give a nice rustic, natural vibe to any space. I saw an idea in a magazine that there were a couple of pine cones tied with some ribbon hanging from garland or your Christmas tree. And I just thought it was beautiful. So I wanted to take my pine cones up a notch and tip the edges with some white paint so it would look like snow. So again, I've grabbed my Dixie Belle fluff and I am just going to grab my pine cones in a small brush and give the edges a little dipping just like they were in some snow. It doesn't have to be perfect when these are all hung up. It will be a beautiful accent. And again, you could do this with any color that matched your decor. If you want it to be snow, if you wanted it to be a little bit of a metallic or a sparkle finish, just about anything will work. Okay, to finish up our little pine cones, all I did was take some ribbon. I love using red at Christmas time. I just can't get around it, how classic it looks. I tied a great big bow at the top and then I am just going to glue the pine cones here to the little tails of the bow and they will be able to hang from the Christmas tree, from garland, anywhere I want a little pop of some red and rustic pine cones. Now I hope you have a better glue gun than mine. It is a little testy sometimes, but I'm just going to put a dot of glue at the tip of each pine cone and then kind of tuck in my ribbon around it. Look at how sweet that is, just like that. We have made some snowy pine cones with a little red ribbon, perfect for decorating anywhere in the house. The next project is this metal sleigh. I actually found this at the thrift store and I have seen sleighs like this all over the place in magazines and they can be really quite expensive. So I was excited to find this at a thrift store. Now this one is going to be very simple and we are just going to paint it, but I wanted to remind you that you may find something that is no longer in style or have something that you still love, but you just want to make it a little bit more neutral, a little more farm housey, uh, whatever your house may be, and you can just simply paint it to give it, like I say, a new lease on life. So I'm going to paint this sleigh in midnight sky. It is just barely off black, super dark gray. I love how it's going to neutralize this and then really make whatever we decide to decorate on the inside pop. So whether we put some pine branches. Maybe we'll use it on the front table to collect holiday cards. Who knows what we're going to use it for. Um, but then what's inside will be the focus instead of the artwork on the outside. I love Dixie Belle's chalk paint because the coverage is so great that you can usually get away with one coat, sometimes a few touch-ups, even over a very patterned print like this and that will be all you need for a quick and easy update on decor you may already have around your house. We did it with just a couple of cans of paint and a few resources some found at the thrift store. Now we are ready to decorate and bring DIY home for the holidays. We'll see y'all next time.